Hey, good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 9th, 2019. Hey, guys, this is the second time I recorded this video this morning. The first time I had a microphone problem, so I'm recording this again. Um, I will try to speed it up here a little bit because I'm running out of time this morning. Um, we had this nice, nice move yesterday where first I, w I was concerned about that morning gap up and, and that played out just like um, I, I kind of warned about yesterday, the, the possible pop and drop. And we popped up in the morning and we never did quite come back uh, to that um, market high all day long. Um, at least we held on in the afternoon. We picked up this rally, bringing us back up. But what that did now is it left a an, in the, an indecisive pattern here on the chart. Um, that candlestick pattern, almost like a hanging man pattern, um, would be a reason for concern, a reason for concern that the market is just a little bit stretched. Now, this morning, we're actually seeing that stretch extended because of the high hopes of um, trade negotiations that ended um, yesterday. Um, in China, after three days of negotiation, it looks like um, things have improved there, but there's been no announcement of any kind of deal. So there's high hopes here that something has been accomplished. Now, I want you to recognize the fact that we are rallying right up here toward a major resistance area in the market. Lots of resistance in here that we'll have to pay attention to. So I'm not suggesting that you... Um, get short here. I certainly don't want to see anyone fighting a bull market because the hopes of this trade negotiation are strong and the market is trying to gap up this morning and push on through without high hopes. But I also don't want anyone to be over committing uh, long to this and chasing this um, rally as it gets late in the rally um, because we don't want to catch it right at the time that it might start pulling back. So watch this gap up open. Make sure that we actually see buyers supporting um, this gap up open after the open. We want to see those buyers pushing through, following through. Um, um, this morning after the open and not just chase into this gap. So watch those resistance levels and, and keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, we have a lot of technical damage here yet to recover from. Um, and you can see in our moving averages here, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So um, don't expect this to just rally straight back up. We could see some profit taking come in really at any time. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY quickly. SPY rallying up, you can see hanging man pattern, hanging man pattern right here at price resistance. We could still move a little bit higher just based on these hopes, but let's watch that closely. We could also see a failure come in here. So just be careful not to overcommit. The possibility that we rally up toward this downtrend um, is certainly possible. So watch that right in here, but don't be surprised. These are the areas where we're right in this, these areas where we have found failure. So watch that for that closely and don't be um, overly committed long in case that does occur. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues, very much the same pattern, pushing that hanging man type pattern right up into this price resistance of this downtrend line and trying to push through that this morning. Um, note that it can push through and if we get a pullback and a hold of that as support, and then see buyers stepping in, we could see a very different market going forward and that would be an awesome sign. But also don't rule out the possibility that we could pop into this area and turn around and fail, come back and test some support levels in here before this um, starts recovering. Remember, we still have a federal government that's moving into its 19th day of shutdown. A lot of folks could go without a pay if a deal isn't struck here soon on that. The market's kind of ignoring that. So we it's not all about trade. There's still a lot of um, uncertainty out there that could certainly weigh on this market and 
and bring in some profit takers. So be careful about chasing into an extended rally here. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM, um, again, another hanging man type pattern, pushing right up here into resistance. Now, one thing I will, uh, this is a downtrend resistance, but one thing I will say is IWM before it reaches a major resistance area is right here. So this does have the possibility that it could maybe push up into here before we see that pullback. But we also always want to respect these downtrend um, areas and see if a failure pattern occurs in here and, and watch for that. So watch for the possibility of another pop and drop type pattern today. We'll have to be pretty cautious this morning as we um, gap into this resistance. Let's take a look at the VIX here real quickly. The VIX, well, the VIX has been doing great. The VIX has been showing that fear has been dropping out of the market. There was a little concern yesterday. You can see we tried to push up here yesterday, looking like we were going to catch a little price support right in here. That didn't occur, um, that rally at the end of the day, um, ended uh, pulling that back. So the VIX is looking really, really good in here. But let's keep in mind that what we have going on in this chart can certainly um, 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 catch a little bit of a rally at any time so we have this support level right in here a pullback into here would be awesome don't rule out the possibility if sellers start to come in the rally back up into here testing this as resistance before we see a failure that is definitely within the realm of possibility so let's watch that close um, that's why we really want to stay focused on price action and remain kind of flexible here as we push those resistance levels let's take a a look at T2122 and this is my biggest concern uh, my biggest concern this indicator is very very consistent when we reach oversold areas we rally when we reach um, overbought areas we usually pull back and you can see that we're up here in this bearish reversal zone we are up here at the top showing a very stretched condition right now in the market and the gap up this morning only stretching that further so we'll want to watch that closely don't be surprised don't be surprised at any time if some profit takers start coming in and we start to see the market relax a little bit also with that in mind let's take a look at what's on the um, economic calendar for today because the economic calendar also gives us a little bit of a signal of something that could mean the market rests a little bit um, first off we have several fed speakers uh coming in to to talk today um, we have the EIA petroleum status report that can certainly move the market around if we get a massive build or something in supplies you know we can see those oil companies that have been starting to rally back um, sink so we don't want to see that happen we want to see um, those numbers stay pretty stable in here but here's the big one of the day and that's that FOMC minutes uh, it comes out at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time um, typically in a normal market and I'm not saying what we're in right right now is really all that normal because of all the political uncertainty but in a normal market we get a morning a morning rush of activity a flurry of activity in the morning and then as we wait for the FOMC minutes the market just kind of falls out and goes stagnant I don't know if that's going to be the case today but that is um, common price action um, ahead of an FOMC meeting because we're pushing up next to resistance levels we also want to be cautious if if the market kind of gets stagnant it may embolden those those bears to start pushing down a little bit recovering or, or pushing down toward those support levels uh, ahead of that FOMC. So kind of keep an eye on that today um, after this morning rush. Let's take a look at the earnings calendar. On the earnings calendar, we have 22 companies reporting earnings today. Um, Lennar, Lennar has reported this morning, and you can see they're pulling back a little bit. Lennar is one of those notables, but such a major downtrend here, um, not finding any love here at all. STZ, STZ Constellation Brands, also reporting this morning, it looks like they have missed um, terribly in a sharp decline 
decline here this morning on STZ, not kind of helping the market here, I would guess. And then later on this afternoon, um, Bed Bath & Beyond will be reporting. Now, this thing has just been in a dismal a downtrend for a long time. Um, I don't know that this is going to, um, anyone's expecting any big shakes out of this, but certainly one to, to pay attention to as we move forward. So, hey guys, um, yesterday I did a, a, a class, last night I did a class on um, uh, one of the best patterns in the market. It's a, it's a pattern that I love to trade. It's called a rounded bottom breakout. Um, if you'd like to know more about it, let us know. We'd love to love to show you, show you more about it. It's one of the best patterns um, I've ever traded and one of the most consistently profit profitable patterns um, I have ever traded in my trading career of, of um, now going on you know 29 years um, it's a beautiful pattern and it's a really simple one to find and read let me show you a couple charts that are setting up and, and it's gonna be important that you um, start working on building a watch list for these kind of charts JD is one of those charts breaking a long-term downtrend and now breaking through some resistance and what we need here is a little rest or a little consolidation now and we wait for that next that next signal that buyers are going to step in and bring this trend into play. And we're not looking for huge, huge moves. We're just looking for kind of a reversion back to the mean, kind of come halfway back up in this downtrend. And that's great profits that can be made. And if you look at the moving average chart that, I, that we use, I call this the T-line chart, you can see that moving above that 50-day moving average, now a little rest or pullback to hold that 50-day moving average, and all of these shorter-term averages providing a nice little level of support in here. So these can these can happen quickly. They can be slow to progress, but um, just an absolutely fabulous pattern. And looking for this to rally up toward that 200-day moving average, which would be about halfway back of that last leg down and it's a great pattern to trade and there's a lot of those showing up right now facebook happens to be one trying to become that big long downtrend rallying back above the 50-day moving average little rest little pullback little consolidation to provide proof that we can hold above that level hey and we're golden here on this trade and it could be really really good and there there's Tons of these charts starting to show up um, um, that way. Um, H H U N Huntsman, um, Huntsman, another one of those long-term downtrends. Beautiful break back above. Moving averages starting to round up. A little hold in this area. Hold up here. Prove that the buyers are going to support this price level, and we could see really nice rallies back up toward those 200-day moving averages. Great great price pattern start building a watch list of that you're going to be happy that you did so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment and i just want to say thank you to everyone that takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you know guys i don't make any money from these videos i don't intend to make any money from these videos the purpose of doing these is to help folks do a better job of preparing for their day. And um, I truly, truly appreciate those that um, take the time to support what I'm doing here by clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a comment. It, it means a ton to me. It helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. So you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for doing that. Also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. They're free to use. So with that, everyone, have a great day. Have great profits. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you bright and early Thursday morning. Take care now.